Hello. So today we're going to do a quick look at uh, alternatives to the Glock um, uh, 17 here. Um, it's a very well known gun. It's a full size gun with a 17 round capacity. So um, let's start with weights for them. So like I said, this is the Glock 17 and it comes in at 25 ounces. Now, the first one that we're going to order, this is a uh, Canik uh, TP9SF, and this has got an 18 round magazine. So, and the weight on that is 28.4 ounces. So it's a little bit heavier. Now, next one going in order, we got a uh, SAR 9. By uh, Sazam Sazamals. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And that's got a 17 round mag as well. And it's pretty much a Glock knockoff. And this is at 27.8 ounces. And the next one, uh, granted, it's not quite like a uh, Glock, but it's a very common gun that most people do use. So if you're looking for an alternative to that, this is probably a good option too. So this is a, a Beretta uh, M9 or the 92FS, any of the Beretta series like that, uh, it will work. And then let's see what the weight is on that. And that's 32.6 ounces. And then now I've included this when I, would, I did the... Um, model 19 glock but they do make these with the uh longer handle with the 18 round magazines so um it says can it because it's it's the same mag for the for the different ones so i just put it in there so we have a accurate size because this is 15 round but they do make them in 18 round and the barrel with the same length so uh that's 28.1 ounces so I figured I'd add this in so it's a comparison. Now, there's a whole bunch of other ones out there. These are ones that I own, so these are the only ones I can really um, attest to as being good. So, uh, let's get a trigger pull on the Glock 17 so we have something to compare it to. And I got a trigger pull. These little safeties are kind of a pain with the trigger pull thing. So I got seven pounds, two ounces. And let's go on to the next one. So the next one we'll do is the Canic TP9 SF. And let's see. It's empty. They're all empty, but I'm uh, showing people so people don't say, oh, you're not being safe. It's like, so that one's five pounds, two ounces. So, and then the uh, SAR-9 is, that one's empty, and let's see what this trigger pull is. Like I said, these little safeties are kind of a pain. So that's 6 pounds, 14 ounces. So, uh, the Beretta one... Double action is, is is super heavy, so we'll 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 do single action to kind of compare it apples to apples. So that's four pounds twelve ounces. Uh, double action is really heavy on these. So yeah, eleven pounds twelve ounces. So it's it's almost twelve pounds on double action, but. And then the last one that we got is, let me make sure it's empty, is the uh, Walther PDP. Um, like I said, this is the compact version with the long slide, but they do make a full uh, length 18 round mag. So now uh, the Beretta, this, they come in 17 or 18 rounds. That's why I'm including it. Is it if it's around 17 rounds, with the uh, normal size barrel, then that's what I was uh, including for this comparison. And these are just ones that I have. So, so I got two pounds, 11 ounces. 
the trigger on these are really good. But, okay, so uh, let's start comparing them, and we'll do the size and everything. So this is, again, the Glock 19, or it's the Glock 17, sorry. And size-wise, compared to the Canik, you can see the Canik has definitely got a chunkier slide. Uh, the height is a little higher. It's kind of in the top. Uh, you do get one more round with it. Um, it's definitely chunkier all around on the, the slide. So, um, size-wise from the side, the trigger guard's bigger. Gives you more room than the Glock. The Glock is kind of small, so if you if you get gloved hands, this is definitely nicer because you can look at the size of that trigger guard. Uh, it comes apart the same way. They both have the the little uh, thing that you pull down and pull off the slide. You know, pull the trigger and everything like that. Um, this one's only got the rear serrations. This is a Gen Four, so it's only got the rear serrations. It's got the swappable mag on it. The mag release. Uh, this one has just the um, slide release on one side. There's no safeties on it. And it's got the three dot with a line, which I actually like that because, like I said, I don't like three dots because you can mix them up with that. The line helps to prevent that. So, um, whereas the Glock's just got the uh, box with the dot, which I like the Glock sights. And the Glock has got you know, just the slide release and a swappable mag release. So they're comparable. They both have the trigger safety on it. Um, so textures, the, the Glocks is okay. This has definitely got a better texture to it. Uh, and it's got the changeable back straps just like the Glock does. So um, it's got the pick rail in the front like the Glock does. This one's a little bit better. It's not just one thing on it. Um, so uh, it is... It is a nice gun. It's very comparable to the Walther PDP. Uh, this has also got a um, loaded chamber indicator that pops up. Whereas on the Glocks, a lot of people probably don't realize that it's a little block there. That when it uh, has a uh, round in the chamber, it sticks out and you can feel it. So it's not as pronounced as that. But they both have something. So, um, yeah. So that's that's the Canik. Uh, th this is outstanding gun too. Uh, so you get one extra round, but it's a little bit bigger and chunkier, a little bit heavier. So the next is the uh, Sar 9, and this has got the 17 round mag. So they both got the 17 round mag. Now size wise, as you can see, they're pretty much identical in size, height, width, width, and everything. I I actually tried to put this slide on there to see if it fit, and it's they're slightly, it's slightly off. So um, now some of the advantages to this, well, it comes apart the same way. It's got the uh, slide release there, and it's got the um, swappable mag release. Um, and it's got the serrations front and back, so that's kind of nice. But the new Glock uh, Gen 5, you can get with the... Uh, serrations on the front uh one of the nice things about this i don't use them but if someone likes the safety it's got a fully ambidextrous safety that you can rack the slide still so you can literally put the safety on take load load the mag and put it in a chamber never having to take the safety off which for some people new to the uh, gun market uh that's a good feature so uh, and the sights is the typical three-dot sights. Um, but pretty much everything on it is the same. Uh, this, guy, it's got a nice texture, too. It's got the um, back straps and side panels. And the texture's pretty good. The ergonomics, I mean, it's got the finger things, which I'm not a thrill, you know, thrilled about. But the Glock has them, too. But the feel and uh, texture of it is definitely really nice. It's got a nice feel to it. So that's a plus for the uh, SAR-9. Um, and the, uh, yeah, the loaded chamber decayed is the same as a Glock. It's just a little pop out when there's a bullet in the chamber. So um, yeah, so let's go on to how does a Beretta 
M9 compare? Well, like I said, you can get the same size magazines. You don't get any of the uh, back straps or anything. Uh, it's a, a metal frame, though. It's aluminum frame. So that's kind of nice. The sights is the Heine type sights where it's got the uh, the dot, you know, the top dot and the bottom dot. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it does have a safety switch there, which is also a decocker. Some people don't like that. Um, but I guess that's up to you. Uh, the, the mags are swappable. The, the mag release. And it's only got the release for the slide on the one side. Takedown is really easy. It's different from a Glock, but it's a, you know, a button. You flip the leather down and come, it comes apart. Uh, the textures on, on the grips, um, it's okay. They're not super aggressive, but they're not, um, you know, super smooth either. So size-wise comparison, uh, the barrel's a little bit longer. As you can see, uh, it, come, it sticks out the back a little bit. Height-wise, they're pretty much the same height. Uh, and then the Beretta is a little bit wider. But um, other than that, it, it's very comparable. Um, you can get the shorter barrels if you want it to be more the size of that. But it's a good alternative if you want a hammer fire. I tried to find more striker fire ones, but these were all the ones that were comparable to the um, Glock 17. So, and then the Walther PDP, like I said, you can get them with uh, the 18 round grips. This one, it's a um, 15 round, but I put the 18 round mag so you could kind of see. So size wise, now they make it with a shorter barrel, so you can get the same size barrel. Uh, it sticks out the back a little bit. The slide is definitely chunkier. It's a lot bigger uh, slide. Uh, the height is about the same, as you can see. You know, it's kind of hard to... I'm going by, like, the handle is about the same. This slide is definitely a lot taller because when you look at it, you can see the, the height difference. So, it's a little taller, that's for sure. Um... The serrations on it is really nice. They got them front and back. Um, th uh, this doesn't have a chamber indicator, a loaded chamber indicator, but uh, it comes apart the same as uh, the Glock. It's got the same little safety thing. The texture on this, though, is phenomenal compared to most other guns, or at least I think so. And you can change the back strap, make it bigger or smaller, whatever. You can swap out the mag. And then the slide release is ambidextrous on this. So uh, there's definitely some advantages to each of the guns. So, um, yeah. So all these guns, I have experience shooting. They all work great. They're phenomenal guns. That's why um, I have bought them. And I figured I'd do a little video to compare them. Um, now, some of the things like this doesn't have the uh, pick rail on it, but you can get them with the pick rail. Now, uh, the big comparison would be, like, the Glock 17 is, you know, runs around $550, $600 range. Now, the prices on the, um, the Canik here, these used to go for about $350, but they've uh, shot up in price recently. So, uh, a Canik like that is running about 500 now. They've definitely gone up in price. Um... I paid two fifty for a use, so yeah, I can't use that as a comparison. The Sar nines, uh, these I paid uh, three fifty for this one. I do believe, yeah, it's like three fifty and or three twenty five. So I got it at a great deal, but they have been going up in price too. It's like most things, everything's going up in price. So now they're they're running closer to like four fifty or so, which is still a savings over the uh, Glock. But um, now the Glock, I mean, the Walther PDP, this will run you about 650 So it's a little bit more expensive for it. Um, I like it better. So it, to me, it was worth the extra money. But, um, you know, to each his own. The trigger on these are phenomenal. And then this is comparable. This is the M9. Now, I paid 600 for this brand new. So it's comparable to the price of the Beretta. 
and it's got this you can get the 17 rounds and stuff you can get higher capacity too but they've got the flush fit or it's the same same size mags they get them 15 and 17 rounders so uh it's definitely in the same price range and the quality is the same so um out of all of these which would i pick if i wasn't picking a glock well um definitely i i like the pdp uh it's a phenomenal gun I, I like everything about it the trigger and all that uh now the canic is a knockoff of the uh pdp the only thing that i don't like comparatively is the ergonomics on the glock is i mean on the um canic the glock is boxy this is boxy too so it's got a really boxy feel to it so that's one that, why well, i don't like that so i would i would definitely go with the um what you would call it the pdp the walther pdp now the sar though for for price wise this is probably second on my list because this it, it was a, a really good price that I got. Like I said, I paid like three twenty five, three fifty, and it's almost exactly like a Glock, but they did a better job with the ergonomics. So um, that's why I would say this is a would be my second pick. Not that Canic and Beretta are not great guns. Um, I do. Love both of them. Um, one of the other ones that I should mention, which I, I kind of forgot, is they've, they've got, and I don't have it, so that's why it's not out here, but the the, the Berta APX, they come in 17 round too, and that's a, a good deal for the, um, it, it matches, and it's got all the other stuff, but this, this is the size of the Glock 19 that I got, or, or, you know, 19X or whatever, but you can get it in the 17 round mags, so um this is another alternative too i guess but yeah so uh, that's a quick pick of alternatives to the glock 17 hope you enjoyed the video and hope you have a good day